Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, if you're watching the stream, nothing has changed. If you're watching the VOD though, we just got done with the worst run ever. It was brutal. If you made it through with me, then thank you. If not, then just be happy you didn't have to go through that. Phantom Draft again. Let's get something that isn't garbage, please. Oh, Sniper, I like you. Oh, this is hard actually. I guess dimension, I mean, okay, you know what, guys? I'm not going blue. I'm making that decision now. I don't care how good the car, I don't care if I get eight annihilations. I'm not picking blue after that last series, okay? We're taking a break, which makes my choice a little bit easier, I think. Watch me get like the best in freaking cards ever. All right, Oglody's great. Uh. Untested Grunt's okay. This is pretty garbage. I love these two cards, though. And considering this is an uncommon, I'll take this since we're unlikely to see it again. So, we'll see. Um, Pit Fighter's fine. We'll go for Salamaze. I'm feeling real good about this one, you know. Uh, this is a good blue card, but we're not picking it, remember. We are not picking that. I mean, we're picking literal garbage over this. I'm being very stubborn right now. Tresden standards, eh, I guess. Like this, I never pick this card, even though I see it a million times because it's bad, but we're not picking blue, guys. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh my. I'd love to take both Bronze Legionnaires, but this is fine. Untested Grunt. All right, all right. Not bad. Wow, these are <laughs> these are some high quality ones, huh? All right, which black card is less bad? Or we just go for the red in case we get red, since we do have a Bronze Legionnaire. This is sometimes okay. These are, I mean, Lodestone Demolition would have been amazing last game. You know what? We're taking this card. I might not put it in my deck, but we've been playing Enchantresses all day, double Enchantress. So this would have won us the game. Let's meme it up a bit. Ugh. This is actually, it. I wouldn't say this is great, but it's not as bad as some people think. Uh, in case we go green, I guess. Just ignore those blues. Meepo. No, thank you. Um, well, a glody. It's looking like a black... I'm not sure, a black red or a black green or a mix of the two, or the three, I mean. Rumusk, maybe. I mean, Burning Oil, I think, is so good in draft. Like that last game, Burning Oil just shuts down that mid when Disciples played. Pickoff is also pretty strong, considering we have two black heroes already. You know what? Let's just stick with the theme for now. There's Annihilation. I called it. Too bad we ain't playing it. Nah, I mean. Ugh, these are bad. I'm going to end up getting a pretty bad, bad day. Oh, that's nice. Unsupervised artillery. Yes, please. I love that card. Grazing shot. Sure. Pugna? I don't think so, my friend. You are not what I was looking for. Bloodseeker. Also not great, but that's okay. Uh, we'll take Thunderhide and... How many creeps do we have? Only six creeps. Hmm? Maybe Rumusk will be a little bit better. I don't really mind Viper that much as like an opening hero, but I think we'll find something better. Like if I end up with Farvon or something, I don't mind. So it's kind of whatever. 
And I got Salamene. LOL. Uh, ooh. I love these cards. We already got a Divine Intervention, though, right? Let's get some creeps. Does gold matter right now? Eh. Eh. I think I'm curving too high, maybe. Selimene. All right, that's good. All right, excellent. Ignore the blue. Life coach would be so proud of me right now. Yeah, we'll take a nice big juicy item. Why not? Crystal Maiden, you're getting replaced. Sorry to tell you. Bloodseeker, I don't think so, my friend. So we've been taking more green than... Like, our green is... It's okay. It's not many creeps, though. If we have to, we can go one red, right? This is a great creep, though. We have to take that. How many Salamanes do we have? Two? Don't need more than that. Yeah, we could run one red. We'll see. If we run, run, if we do do that, then this is going to be a high quality creep. And it's not like I'm going to miss these other ones all that much, so. We can get another one. Caught unprepared. Hmm. Interesting choice. This could actually win games, but it's generally pretty, pretty bad. We'll see if we need it. Spot weakness, untested grunt. Maybe defend the weak. Uh, this is fine. Hip fire. Can go full for line mantle. I don't really mind this item. Could also just go combat training, but meh. All of these are actually okay. I mean, I should have gold, right? And this helps sniper out a lot and i'm pretty sure i'm replacing this with debbie the blood seeker so also really good on debbie oh my god dude these mm. i'm not gonna be putting all these items in but i'll take this i guess all right I don't know. I mean, this is definitely better than the last draft, but uh, not by much. Let's see. So let's assume that Debe is playing with us. Phantom Assassin, Sniper, Darkseer, and either Farvon or Keef. Let's just assume this is the case for now. All right, so black first. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All three of you, please. That's good. That's good. And I actually like this one quite a bit, personally. 21 for three black heroes. A couple short than what you'd normally like. For the forward charge might be okay. Let's see what the quality of the other ones are first, though. Thunderhide pack, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yes. Yes. Nine cards. I love these other cards, too, though. It's pretty risky. Whatever. Let's just put all the ones that we like. Uh, I'm okay having a one of this. It could actually win you the game. Dread in the meantime. Both of these. We only have seven good red cards, right? Oh, it's exactly 40, though. That's interesting. Maybe we keep it as is then. It's not like we're adding that much in terms of green. 
Is there anything for red that we need? I mean, card draw, I guess, maybe. Meh. Ah, this isn't that bad, honestly. And then in terms of starting cards, I don't think it really matters because I don't see any other combination that's going to work. PA's great starter. Ogre's, or Keith is fine starter. Sniper needs to be fifth because he's so squishy and his headshot won't come online until the, the round after. Darkseer is usually the fifth because his is, surge is off cooldown immediately, but he has a bigger body, so it's probably fine putting him fourth. Debbie, you could replace with, you could do this, but I'm actually okay with Debbie starting the game. And especially since we have so many things that we can cast, right? I think that's actually okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go for items. For sure, for sure. I think this one is, oh, we need three cloaks short swords we're gonna probably make more gold than a normal deck right so uh, 13 gold I don't think we can do this one I think something like this makes more sense honestly so we have five accessories we need some more Uh, do we go for maybe some leather armors instead of some of these other items? I think this is fine. Somebody's saying we should maybe go Farvon instead of Darkseer. No, I think far I think Darkseer is better. I mean Farman's not bad at all. But being able to move lanes in draft is huge. I think the run before whenever we played Darkseer last, that was uh we used that a lot and it was quite good, so I like this. Alright, let's try it out. Should at least get three wins. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear boy. Dear, dear boy. Oh, we have no accident. Thank you, baby Jesus. So here I think we, we're fine just pushing for damage. Do we care about a curve? Uh, we could do this, right? Because a no accident would kill him next round if we drew another one. Pick off we have in our deck. I'm That's also fine. Fight. That's good. Bloodseeker. I mean, Bloods yeah, Bloodseeker's pretty bad. I think it's because his card, it's always... Um, there's always a downside. There's almost never a case that you can play it where it's always good, you know? Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. What's the deal here? Meanwhile, Debbie, I think she's just, she's always solid. I really like Debbie as a hero. Her card is very consistently good. It's three damage, like, it's great. I think we'll go here because we survived to Sorla and we actually kill her in the process. Um, yeah. What is this? It's a three black, one red, one blue. Hmm. Interesting. 
All right, he has seven gold. Let's see if he spent anything. Uh, he spent six gold. So we can play Oglody or Pit Fighter. And then here we don't have anything, so... Let's see what he plays. You won't survive. I won't be leaving the field. What's anytime, your item? So you got a short sword on you? Well, he spent how much again? Oh. Interesting. Okay. So what's better, Oglody or Pit Fighter? Pit Fighter lives. So I guess that nobody's dying though, but he's just a body for now. The battle <coughs> no place for a boy. Run home to your mom and dad and leave the fighting for the grown-ups. Oh, the grown-ups, you say? I won't stop fighting. Okay. Darkseer's Surge is now online. Not sure we can really find good use for it yet, though. Um, what do we have? We have a Glody, so we want to push more damage here. I definitely want to finish that tower. So I think Debbie's going to go here. And Sniper, I think we can just go three here, right? Do I care about this lane at all? Mm. So my deck again. Hip fire. I have another Oglody. Untested Grunt, even. Hmm. I mean, if Sorla goes to this lane, I could be in trouble, but. And she does. So the other thing is, even if I overcommit to this lane, it's not that big of a deal because, again, we have Surge, right? Um. All right, so I think I definitely want to save Oglody for this. Let me just go for some gold. A gift from the king. And then sniper. Maybe we put sniper here and then Oglody in front of Sorla just to block damage. I mean, that's not really that bad, is it? Eh. I think I'm just going to stay here, actually. I don't think he can kill my tower in one. I mean, who knows, actually. 15 seconds remaining. I should definitely not assume that. I could also send this creep here, because that's lethal. You know what? No, that's Five too big of a risk. Remaining. That would be stupid. Three. We're going to wait, because then I can surge with headshot next round, and it could have a bigger impact. Mm -mm -mm. You won't feel a thing. That's unfortunate. Watch and learn, brother. I mean, it feels like we're gonna get this tower at some point, so Here. hopefully. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh boy. So we have Headshot, which we can use mid to kill either Bristle or Debe. But we have to worry about initiative with Coup de Grasse. Mm. Oh, Ogre Conscript, though. Does sound pretty juicy. Plus, I know Accident just works here, right? It's a bit risky. I 
I mean, so the really cool thing about this is I have assassinate next round, which I can use from this lane, and then I can move sniper and do something else. Let's just get this tower and be done with this. Leave this to me. Probably should have done that first, but whatever. Okay. How is the rev cell job? This is a bit scary. I don't think I'm going to be getting this. Oh, okay. oh. That compacts it a bit and lowers the damage on the tower. Of course, I don't have any creeps anyway, so. I'm assuming he has a creep to block. The sisters of the yep. veil will not be denied. Okay. So I play PA here. I mean, I have double assassinate, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. The sisters of the veil come for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to assassinate um, the PA so that I can't get coup de grade here. And then Bristleback, I don't know what... I think we just win. Because he's not really going to have anything. Like, there's no duel, there's no Berserker's Call, so... I think we're just fine. I guess, barring creeps. So I can assassinate, and then I can just move another hero over and then assassinate again. So it's pretty locked in, I think. Assassination, please. No one I can't kill. This and this is why Darkseer is great. Question is, who do I send? Do I send Mr. Sniper? Or do I send a red hero? Bloody hell. I guess I just send Keith, huh? I have two red or er, two black heroes here already, so I'm not worried about one of them dying really. Oh, of course. So I'm pretty much guaranteed to get my assassination off. Which ensures the victory. I understand my order. Booyah. Oh, that was a fast. See, this is. Let me hit the button, man. Come on. I do it for everybody else. See, that's the difference between a blue deck <laughs> and a majority black deck. The games, even if you don't win, they're they're faster, you know? I like it more. Ooh, Omni Knight. That's scary. And Legion. Holy shit. That is very scary. Very, very scary. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm actually just trading each time, aren't I? Oh, but I have no accident for here again. See, this is... Debbie is just a god. Plus, I have a pick off if I put. Oh, I don't have another black hero though. Damn. Damn. Hey You're a dead man. I can't believe she had no accident. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it would be nice to have another black hero for this. This is such a juicy kill. But we can't complain because this was a good start for us. 
quite a good start indeed. TP or not to TP? That is the question. I do believe we take it, yes. All right, Darkseer. Where is Ion Shell most useful? I mean, I've been having pretty good success just putting Darkseer in that first lane anyway, right? Just for the surge at some point. Omni, please don't block me. Oh, Omni, why? Why have you done this to me? Mm. So one red here. I'm not going to get much use out of Legion Standard Bear anyway. I think I might just put on the left side here, honestly. Iron Shell's useless. Hmm. Actually, tough to say. And then here. Oh. You were right, Commander. The rebellion oh, too that's not. Fail. That's not what I wanted. It's a good thing I didn't play this first. Or I didn't have initiative. This would just multiply. This is how much I think this card sucks. Creep modified. You matter. Don't let the Oglody tell you otherwise. You matter, my friend. You're a good boy. So here's the question. I guess it's not much of a question. I just short sword. He can't do anything unless he has like a soul of spring or something. And then I play Pit Fighter to the left. You're mine. Let's see what he does first. Huh. So here I can play Oglody. I think that's the best course of action. So Pit Fighter. Ready to go a couple of rounds. Man, what are these arrows? How much did you laugh at the name when Charmer picked the winner for the lap? Dude, that was hilarious. That was God tier. So I could pick off this creep just for fun, but I'm sure we'll find better use of it later. We're going to go for the damages. And because he, I mean, duel is a problem for her, obviously, since he only has one HP, but he doesn't have any direct damage other than that. So I think it's better Nothing just to push for as much damage as possible right now instead of TPing out. Gotta apply the pressure. Um, I mean, armor's gonna matter. Obviously I want this, but I can take a peek first. Yeah. So if I get... Hmm. So this is a cool thing about playing black with Darkseer. I can just place Sniper here. He's pretty safe, right? Worst case, he goes in front of a creep pretty much. Then I can cast Pick Off on somebody ahead of time, although it won't get a kill. It will provide a little bit extra damage that potentially might be needed, and then I can just move him with Surge anywhere I want. It's kind of like having a Blink Dagger. You're not really risking anything. Minus, like, I mean, it depends on what hero you're playing against, right? It's, it's, I guess the thing we should be afraid of right now is uh, duel. For the most part, I don't think this first lane is something we're really prioritizing at all. Good old ion shells. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, that's pretty dirty. The only way, I mean, he can duel me, but he'll just trade. He probably has items to stay alive. Uh, whatever that four mana, what's that called again? The stun. Why am I forgetting the name of that? My enemies come for me, but I'm ready. Does pick off accomplish anything? Not really. Honestly, I'm just gonna pick off this creep. I want to do damage to this tower. It 
it was Quinn. And I guess I'll surge him. Do this first. I'm no good to us dead. Hmm. Perfect for the keen. Sucker punch, that's right. So we can do this and land here, then that armor. Oh, that's a nice arrow too. The armor's gonna help out <coughs> that pit fighter quite a bit. And then with headshot coming off, we can just kill this guy if he doesn't really do anything in the HP department. All right, I don't have anything to play, so this is fine. And I also have nothing to play here, so. I mean, I can stay alive technically. Savagery can never be discipline. I can stay alive here. I guess that's. He does have an item. He only has three mana, so he can't use Enrage. I'm trying to think if this is just a waste. We'll see. <sighs> Am I done? Oh my god, the negative one armor. Ugh. I forgot I had negative one armor. All right, that was a fail. He's going to think that I have something now. <laughs> Little does he know the mind games were real. Am I better off TPing or trading? I think I'm okay trading. Ugh, that was that was bad. Oh, that's nice. I'd like to have initiative for the mid lane. Let's see. We're not quite at seven mana. Legion standard bear will be pretty big here. I think we need to push for damage here more than anything. And then Debbie can kind of tank that, I guess. Whew. How do I like the suns this season? Well, they, they are horrendous. We're... They have a lot of injuries right now, but we were horrendous before that too, so. Aiton is quite good though. Hmm. Oh. Well, that changes everything, doesn't it? Selamene. Selamene. Problem is I won't have initiative most likely. Salamene. All right, maybe he will play something. Hopefully. Perfect. I just want to be able to headshot this guy, so that's why initiative is very important. But you can't pass up this extra mana. I think with these two babies in my hand. Excellent, thank you. I'm stronger now. All right, take it. Take it. The rebellion can't fail. Ooh, he can actually kill me this round, huh? So be it. Oh, I didn't want to. Come, my brothers. That's strange. All right, so we do this and hope he doesn't equip an item on Legion Commander. Assassination. Is there any way that that's better? I don't think so. This is... 
Of course, Sniper doesn't really do that much damage to the tower, but that's okay. That's fine. Mm-mm-mm. All right, well, not much to do in this lane. For the Oglody. Looking decent. Do I care about having that much HP right now? What do I have coming in? P oh, yeah, she needs it. She needs it real bad. I think we draw cards, though, for the rest of that gold. Phantom Assassin. I think I go here, assassinate, and then surge over. The only way he can really kill me is dueling with Ursa here, but there's no way Ursa goes there, right? Yeah, so now I can kill Ursa. Do I care more about red? Yes. He hasn't used dual once this game. So I think I do care more about red right now. Hmm. This combo is actually amazing. I'm loving this Darkseer. Darkseer with black. I need to do this more often because for me, Darkseer has been a bit underwhelming, honestly. And the crazy thing is he's like doing nothing in this lane. He's expended. I mean, it's only one hero. It's kind of like me, but he's not doing anything, you know? So this is a, a kill. So that's nice. This opens it up for more damage, but it's only two more damage. And I think I'm more scared about red cards because we talked about duel. So we can equip this and draw some cards first. This. And then once I, st I mean, I can always put Ogre Conscript on the side as well. So it's, it's looking quite good for me. The one thing that I wish they would add though, for the expert modes is the tournament timer. Seder Duelist, you say? Hope this works. All right, so is there any way killing Omni Knight is better? Don't think so. I think it's safer to kill Ursa. And I think I can just TP this guy away. He's not killing this creep. It's just going to multiply, so. Uh, I guess I can save my cloak for Keef. The fools stand united. Okay. We can add seven damage, which is lethal, assuming he has no blockers. But that's all we can do. Ah, shiny. He's played. He's played two creeps here, so we're hoping he's kind of running low on the creep department. But it is a three green hero lineup, so it's likely he has something. But again. Considering how wide the board is, I'm not super worried about it. We will protect yeah. The weak. Like that. That'll extend it. We can play this first, I guess. The oracles expect much from me. I must be ready. Hmm. 
Just go direct damage. I'll destroy our enemies. Haven't gotten coup yet. So he's gonna have two green, one red. If he gives up initiative and I gain coup, then I will kill Legion for sure. So since I don't have initiative, I can just potion of knowledge. Unless he plays something, then I'm not playing anything. Well, it depends on what I draw, I guess. These are not good draws. Wow, he's actually blocking everything. That's crazy. Huh. If I'm lucky, I survive this. Mm. I guess I have to draw. Jesus H, dude. But he is pushing this so slowly. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. This is like the one time I've ever seen the uh, Rebel Instigator actually multiply this many times. Last lane, last lane, last... Fuck. Fuck. The stand united. All right, this is officially a bloodbath, friends. So probably... Legion standard into Seder, I guess. I can't heal many people here. Just what I needed. I could still lose this game. As disgusting as that is, man, minus armor is so bad against Italian. Has one item. Could have like Thunderhide pack. So we're going to add three, seven damage to the tower, hopefully. And unfortunately, Debbie is stuck here. You're putting up a good fight, but it's not enough. I can't really save Sniper. I'll go for this first. Come, brothers. He might have another duel, honestly, because... He's used one this game, surprisingly. Good old ion shells. Yeah, that's a problem. Hopefully she lives. We'll see. So fighting instinct keeps him alive, but don't I just need to push for damage here? This is actually a tough choice. Very tough choice. Hmm. Fifteen seconds remaining. I mean, I have fighting instincts. What am I holding on to red for? What do I care? Commander. <laughs> A fancy title for a petty uh. tag. Hmm. I'm just hoping the board is... Yeah. That's his second duel. He's just been holding on to these like all game or something. Okay. I think I've lost this game, actually. Debbie's stuck. Poor Debbie stuck in the lane. Our saving of the omniscients be upon you. I mean, I have black and green. I haven't drawn one coup de grace this entire game. So maybe I'll finally draw one, which will be quite good. And if I got one, I'd use it on Magnus. No, I'd actually use it on 
No, he's going to have all five heroes, so... I'm very lucky he didn't get any creeps. All right, five damage with... I mean, it's not like I have two damage, though, so... I need... Oh, okay, never mind, I do. Oof, that's a pretty big draw. Does no accident do anything for me? Come, my brothers. Let's see. No accident kills a creep, which would be right here. So that's where we'll put it, right? Just for extra damage, I just in case. I'd fight alongside the Bronze Legion. How did this game get so close? I should be owning. Assuming he has another duel, he'd probably use it on Darkseer first. That would be his last duel because he's used two, right? Two in the same turn. <laughs> That's actually very good for me because now I can do this. GG. No GG. Wow. That was way closer than it should have been. Jesus, man. His heroes are definitely superior to mine, though, I think. Sniper's good. PA is very good. I mean, they're both quite good heroes. The other three, though, obviously. His LC is like tier one. Omni Knight, I think, in draft is tier... 1.5 maybe. Let me see is the rest of his deck actually. Two Thunderhide packs. Well, he didn't draw them then, huh? Only that last one. All right. Oh. I should have went to the bathroom. I feel like an old man. I got to pee every time. We just axe on. What is this? How do you get these heroes in draft, man? Oh, Lord. We're starting from behind right off the bat. No accident won't save us this time. Oh boy. Let's hope his card quality is worse than his heroes. That does happen sometimes. Legion Standard Bear, Bronze Legionnaire, Pit Fighter is not great. And I have no green cards anyway, so. I could have played this here to kill Ogre potentially, but if you've been watching the stream tonight, then you, you know how valuable Darkseer's been in the first lane. Oh, a Glody, huh? I might have to put a Glody here just to... Actually, probably Pit Fighter's better at survives. I can just kill him with this in theory, but he does have an item. This is fine still, I think. I will fight by your side. Over us all. That's a really good signature card. Mm. 
Yeah, pit fighter is better here. I think this is a lane we're probably... We're not in great... Oh, boy. Hey, it gains damage, though. This lane's going to be very hard to recover, I think. We might have to go to this lane. What's your item? All right. TP, sure. All right. If we get a no accident, then it kills Og or Keef. And then we've talked about this. I can just surge him away if needed, so. Okay. I need uh, no accident, though, for that last lane. Ooh. Oh, Glody, huh? So we got arrows here again. Will Selimene's help? Assassination, I guess. I might have to do that. Feels bad to sell a mayonnaise in that last lane, though. If I do it here, I'll still have three mana. I don't really want to play Bronze Legionnaire. Oh, this is kind of a messy... This is kind of messy here. Mm. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. We will win this battle. I really hate Salamani's the last lane, but I am. You are safe. But you do what you gotta do, I guess. Are we putting sniper there? I think so. Uh, this is kind of a messy laning phase, as it were. So I could assassinate here. Doesn't feel good though. Your time has come. Might have been better to send Keith. Depends on if I'm, I mean, at this point, because I sent, uh, no one is axes equal. Yeah. I needed this. going really back and forth right now. Come on, let's go. So if I sent Keef here, then I'd want to be using Ogre Conscript, but because I sent another black hero, obviously Oglody is nice, but we need to do two damage to this guy, and I think we could just kill Darkseer, but I'm going to do this instead. They never saw it coming. Feels horrendous. I'm a professional. Feels absolutely awful. I'm just hoping he doesn't have anything, which I guess he didn't, so worked out. Okay. Oh. I don't mind if I do. PA. Let's try to overtake this first lane. I think we got the last one for the most part. PA does 10 damage to Omni Knight. Ooh. Oh, coup de grace, coup de grace, eh? I think we'll wait to do that. Maybe we put down Ogre Conscript. Actually, probably Legion Standard Bear into Bronze Legionnaire. I think it's just 
gonna be better to clear these lanes. I raise the bull snake high. I will find the enemies of the light and destroy them. The Bronze Legion stands pretty united. happy with this. I can phase boot somebody. I can phase boots PA into Omni. This is perfect for this task. I'm going to take 10 damage though. Uh, what are his items? If he adds a cloak, then I can't kill him, huh? All right, maybe I don't swap. That's too big of a risk. Let's clear out these creeps. It's more important. I mean, I'm really in po really good position in that lane, so I think it's fine. And here we play Vandal. I don't really want to play the second Vandal. I just want enough for lethal. And we'll save Coup de Gras for Ogre because we're afraid of Berserker's Call. Oh, shit. That's super scary. So now the question is, do I just save initiative so I can Coup de Gras Axe? Or do we think he's going to play something here? I think we save it. Because we can always double O'Glody next round if we want, right? I don't really care if he dies. One O'Glody is enough to kill that, so. We care about improvements this game, not really. All right. So if he Berserker's calls with Axe, it kills a lot. With Keef. I mean, it depends on positioning, obviously. Keef doesn't do that much. Oh, now he does. Fuck. Yeah, we still go for it, though, for sure. My specialty. Another name off my list. Well. <coughs> this arrow is a bit unfortunate. I do not have one damage. Probably save O'Glody for... I can just headshot him, so... Save O'Glody for this lane. Hopefully he has nothing. Marofel Brawler, you say? Why would you not block him? Hmm. Okay. So Glody doesn't quite finish it, but this is still fine. I think initiative is fine to save for the last lane to make sure we get it. Yeah, I guess not. That cleave is pretty... D Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. It won't kill him, at least, but... Yeah, that's... Uh, that's kind of annoying. Maybe it's best if I swap... I should have done that first, but yeah, he won't kill me with that. All right. What do you have? What's your item?
I mean, I'm going to get this tower anyway, so... Oglody ensures it. I just don't want to use it because I'd rather use it here. Hmm. You won't feel a thing. I don't want to risk him TPing out, so I'm just going to TP my guy out. Since I'm already getting this tower and I've already given up initiative, so... I think that's better. If this was a TP, then I denied him big time. Definitely need that. All right, it is a showdown for the ages. These black heroes are super weak though. Like this, Bracers of Sacrifice will kill, uh, what does Darkseer have? Seven? It's not enough yet. Thankfully. That's good spawns though for me. Ooh. So I'm going to untest a Grunt on the side and then I'll Glody. Berserker's Call doesn't kill me unless he equips a short sword. But it's really important to Oglody first and not, er, to untested Grunt first. Because if he adds like a short sword, then I want to be able to get my four damage right away. Okay. So this side's not better actually because of the cleave hoping for no arrow all right and then if he blocks this we can oglody i mean we're hoping he can't kill a black hero obviously or any hero and let's try it out Watch and learn, brother. so many of my heroes are dying Okay, you need more than that, my friend. Oh my god, he actually had it. That's insane. My no accident is not online. Wow. That's not often you see a two mana creep. Alright, so what do I need to keep alive here? Probably Keith. That's the only thing I can't keep alive. What else do I have in this deck? I guess we save initiative. The short sword isn't really doing anything. Oh, these games, man. They're ending in... Such weird fashions, aren't they? Let's hope we don't get screwed by arrows right now. So now Rosalie for Juvenator is a good creep to play, although it won't be enough to really kill anything. Well, that's not true. It's pretty good here. Actually, it's really good there. So I'll play Roseleaf. Oh, but then I can't. No accident. Damn. This is a problem. I think I might lose. I need Coup de Grasse. So bad. Ooh. So I do this into a no accident, right? Two, five. Means I have four mana left over. Which can't do shit. This is my only way to win, I think, now. I might as well play Ogre Conscript instead. Fifteen seconds remaining. 
Make it seem like I have no mana. Maybe he expends his. Oh, I could have no accident twice. Fuck, that was so stupid. Holy shit. I might have just thrown. I should have untested Grunt instead of that. And then I have two no accidents for this creep and this creep. Oh, man. He does have his heal, but I don't know if he'd think about it. Oof, that was really bad. Hmm. <laughs> So since this air is already killing him, I'm just gonna give the creep the. Let's see what he has. War was over before it began. Mm. One misplay could cost me, For and it will. Christ, I can keep him alive at least. Um, let's see. It's going to end up tying, though. Have Roseleaf next turn into no accident, I guess. That's what I kind of have to do. Maybe I can stay alive with that. Uh, I can't keep him alive, though. Fuck. Seconds remaining. I'll just do this to waste time for now. For anything. I have two black heroes coming in. So if I can save my Dark Seer. I'll make good use of this. But I can't. If I TP out, I'm giving up ten damage to the tower, which is one off lethal. I can't do that. Oh, but I can no, I have to just do this, I think. <clears throat> I can't TP Darkseer, unfortunately. No one can outsmart me. Yeah, if I had done the play that I should have done, then things would be a lot different. That was a misplay for sure. Three damage, no more Oglodies. You know what's funny is I might just try to save this lane now. Does that sound weird? Fifteen seconds remaining. I think I'm doing that shit. He's committed so much here. Who do I put? Five seconds remaining. Three, two. And then I TP out Darkseer. Then I put two black heroes in mid. And just try to go for that now. All seeing one's blessing. Let's hope he's stranded here and can't do anything. Did he 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 added two damage to this creep, huh? To kill me. Damn. Okay. <laughs> God damn, dude. This is hard game now. I promise he's going to get close to 80ing me with this. It's going to take... It's two-turn lethal, really. And I have nothing to play. It might have been better to... Oh, shit. I forgot he had a Dark Seer, too. Lol. Whatever. Yeah, the problem is I have no red cards, so that's really limiting me. Of my Does he have a headshot? Oh, headshot's going to be up. Okay, so I'm pretending I want to go here now. I'm actually going to go back here. Don't tell anybody. It is against three heroes, which sucks. But I have a headshot, so it can kill a creep. I hope he thinks I'm going to this lane. <laughs> and the fact they had no lethal actually hurts me if he because i want him to feel safe here i don't know maybe i'm overthinking it doesn't matter he can't deploy anybody anyway 
All right. Darkseer's coming back so I can Roseleaf if I really want. But Headshot's the most important. Does everybody have their equipment? They do not. You poor, poor sniper and, and Debe. So this is the thing I'm scared of. Six damage will kill two of these guys. But all I need is to get this headshot off because he's running low on cards right now. We have a good block here. I don't think I'm actually ever taking this tower, right? So this is the only way that I can win, I think. Let's hope it like jukes him or something. He's not expecting and hopefully our spawns are not in front of Ogre. Okay. So if I can equip Cloak first before I do anything, I guess. This has six HP if he heals it all the way. I mean, maybe I don't bother. If he Berserker's calls, then that doesn't really do anything, I don't think. Let's start opening this up. I should use it on this though, because I can no accident this if I need to. They're in my sight. <laughs> I mean, he can Berserker's Call. He can use this to sacrifice himself, I guess. I just want him to use mana. All right, he's out of red cards now, so that's good. So I can no accident. And I can assassinate. Assassinate does nothing. Uh, right here it does. That's actually really good. Is there any other choice? Not really. Does this guy just have infinite blockers? Roseleaf Rejuvenator doesn't do anything because I need to open up slots. I just need him not to have two blockers is really what it comes down to. So... He has had, like, infinite creeps somehow. Oh, this game has been... Whew. Jesus, man. The side creep will get assassinated. That's what I'm talking about. Holy shit, man. Wow, that game was insane. Oh. Good God, dude. What are we at? Is that three? Just only three games. <laughs> Christ, dude. I got to take a leak. That was, that was too much for my heart. I'll be right back.
Okay, let's finish this up. This is my last run of the night, I do believe. Okay. There's some intense games. Damn, that's some high quality heroes. Oh my god. That is some Redonka Donk heroes, my friends. Okay, so what do we got? Assassin's Apprentice, huh? The shadows will protect us. You can't run from me. No accident cleans them up next round. Ooh, we have... I forgot we didn't have Thunderhide in this this uh, draft. This is not a good lane for Debbie. Oh, Debbie. So we've been here before. I do believe Doxia will go here. If I went here, he would. We would just trade. So I'll probably just take three damage or nine damage to the tower. Oh, oh goodness. Spawn in front of PA, please. Damn you. Coop de Gracchi. And actually, that really fucks up my... <laughs> I didn't consider that. Hmm. So because of that, do I just remusk everybody? Both of these live as a result. I could just push for damage. That's eight damage to the tower with Oglody. Yeah, that makes my decision much easier. My task awaits. Barely living. That's a pretty good round, pretty good lane right there. Braxton, hello. Yeah, I've been streaming for uh, quite a while, my friend. Do I play this to gain a little bit of... Hmm. I'll just let this lane die. Painful death. My pack oh, okay, now... Oh, no accident works better, actually, doesn't it? No accident's good here, though. So we'll do this. My creep will live. And then no accident will kill Debe in the mid lane. Seems like a good trade to me. Don't know why he didn't play that on the other side. I think even if it curves, you want it to have... It's better to have that damn... Oh, yes. Oh, dear boy. So I'm going to go TP this time because I have track on me. I think Mr. Headshot's coming. Of course, Headshot's not quite up yet, but either way. Even with the creeps, I don't want him to gain freaking 15 gold for killing me. Eleven gold. How much was spent is the question. Only three. Hmm. So I need initiative. I have this in my deck. Wow. Did you guys know that? I literally did not know that. No. 
So if I play something here, he's going to have initiative. But this is like so much to cast that I think it's fine. Um, Unsupervised in this lane, probably. Eh, 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 eh. From the shadows I strike. Missions will only grow harder. So do I blink docs? Ready. Yeah, is, is a question. I think I do, actually. I don't want to TP out. Yes, I do. Soon my enemies will meet defeat. I know this looks weird, but we're going to try it out, guys. Because I think I might want to... Surge, good old Keith. But we'll see. Hopefully, he doesn't equip anything, but he probably will. Okay. I'll trade with you. You're dead. That's fine with me. All right, now we have Ku up for next round. These are good blocks. I bring wisdom and power. Not sure if I care about this lane right now. That's kind of getting scary though. Let's see. If I play this here, all I can do is coup, which I'll have to do immediately onto Mr. Headshot because it's up. Okay. Oh boy, through that's not what I was hoping for. Dear boy. Oh my god. What have you done? Okay. I'm hoping I don't give up the oh god, there's so many good cards to give up. Oh lord. Give up the grunt or ion shell, I'm begging you, please. Oh, thank you, Gaben. Lord Gaben has done it again. 8 HP. I guess I live. I could have just equipped this. All right, I made a mistake, I think. I wouldn't say it's huge, but... Now it might be huger because he's living. I should have caped him and then coup de grace him. Because then I'm getting 9 damage on the tower. Yeah, that was a bit sloppy. Oh, we'll have assassinate next round, so we'll get another shot. That's unfortunate arrow. No escape. That is also quite unfortunate. Mm. That is also quite unfortunate. All right, so what are we going to do about this? This is 11 damage extra plus 4, 15. So that's exact lethal. And I need them both there. Maybe I'm abandoning this lane and going here, I think. Darkseer will have Thunderhide pack at some point. I am... I think Debbie's actually more important right now. Because she has the item. That hurts. That hurts quite a bit. This lane is done. I can't do anything. You won't be the thing. 
if I go here, I mean, I think I, oh, what am I thinking? I don't have TP anymore, so it doesn't matter. I don't think I play this. There's no point. Do I have anything that pushes for 80? I don't think so, right? No. I will have assassinate, which I can use from here to here. And that's going to be nice. All I have to worry about is Debbie or Lycan. Oh my god, dude. He drew all three wolves. That's insane. The wolves will feast on the bodies go, 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 go. I need to draw more assassinates. Hmm. Like, ooh, I have, ooh, this is nice, actually. I should have, fuck. Damn it. I should have gotten the fountain, has, fountain heal. Because I can just send him over and blink. Whatever, I'm going to do it anyway, so. Right? Yeah. I need the Darkseer in this lane, so he has to blink. All right, I'll send somebody that's healthier, I guess. Fifteen seconds remaining. Huh. He probably has a no accident. I don't really care though. I'm just hoping I draw another one of these. I can't really go all in mid because I don't have the deck for it. So this isn't going to help any time in the future. So that really sucks. These draws are really bad. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? I mean, we just got to kill Lycan, right? I have Untested Grunt. That's pretty much all I can play. Thunderhide pack next turn. So let's just take him out. That'll take away a bit of damage. It would really be good if he can't finish this this round as well, but he probably can. You won't feel a thing. All right, that's fine. Problem is he probably has disciples and stuff. I don't have a deck that can go for the 80. I have more of a... I don't know what kind of deck this is, but... And I don't really have... What do I... What can I draw that matters? Like, do I want this red hero here? I guess so. I think I do, right? I can Divine Intervention next turn here so nobody dies. That's nice. Ah, I was hoping he wouldn't have TPs. So he's going to have a green and a black hero up for the last tower. Might as well do this. Do I want a red or a black hero here? I guess a red. In case I... I mean, there's a lot of stuff I can get, right? And it's more HP. Might as well cloak both these boys. I look so fancy. I'll use this wisely. So we can get rid of this creep just place. I mean, I don't care if this dies. It's more about cleaning up the lane. Unfortunately, this wolf survives, but we can't do anything about that. And then next turn we can Thunderhide. I mean, this is too slow. Thunderhide pack is going to probably go here if there's no creeps. And the fact that this is the third lane makes me sad. He's going to have two heroes coming in. And Assassinate is online. He can't kill any of those heroes, though, so I guess that's okay. This could be really big, maybe. And I guess we just take the heal. <coughs> Hey, 
headshots up so he can headshot and uh the other reason for leaving sniper mid is we can assassinate from there as well but he's probably gonna assassinate i mean oh that's nice but he has uh the lock so that's gonna have to be for next round basically we have to get lethal next round in the third lane or we lose it's unlikely Quite unlikely. And we're trying to dodge Slay. I mean, a lot of stuff is going against us right now. He's thinking about who he wants to assassinate. Right. He doesn't have it, I guess. Sure. I might as well do this. this will come in Doesn't handy. really do anything. I could have saved it for her, actually. Uh, headshot kills the creep, I guess. He could use this in conjunction with... Uh, assassinate to kill somebody, like... Debe. And this, this could come in the handy. I mean, it's good that he's used his mana, though. Doesn't have anything crazy. So, like, next round, I can do something interesting and try to open up another shot for lethal with, uh, I mean, I'll assassinate from the mid lane, and then maybe I can apply Bracers of Sacrifice on somebody as, like, a finishing move. That's... Some Kind of the only way I win, and I have to dodge lethal here, which is also a big if. Um, I kind of have to play this now. <coughs> so I'll have assassinate and Selimene's favor, which doesn't do anything. Basically, I'm working with these two cards next round. And then this. This is the, the finisher, right? I will do and it looks like this will come for this side or something if he saves him. I have to worry about assassinate next round, but there's not much I can do to play around it because the damage is going to come after. I could come heal on. prematurely. Oh, he's going to try to assassinate this. Fuck that, dude. Assassinate one of my heroes, please. The one thing I wish is if you killed this a unit holding the hourglass that it uh you know I think I do this now it's 10 HP I actually think I do this now and it has to be on Keith I mean this is kind of like a low percentage win anyway so Seconds remaining. No one is killing me. What is this item? It's a TP. All right, so he doesn't have coup de gras because he doesn't have PA. He doesn't have uh, his gank. Maybe gank would punish this. I feel like I might need to put somebody in the first lane. Nah, I can't take that risk. I have to go all in. 
and assassinate from mid. All I have is assassinate. There's no way I can win this. That's not true. We'll see how everything... He's going all in first lane. I mean, I, I don't think I can do anything over here. The problem is this hourglass. If there was hourglass, then I'd have more hope to do s like some weird shenanigans, but... The hourglass is, I think, like the best item ever. Yeah, he's got me. GG. Let's see if I would have won this though. Lycan, with you by my side, there's no. I would assassinate. Well, of course I would have had it here because he didn't go there, right? GG. Damn. A close-ish game, I guess. I mean, the main problem is that the lane I was trying to fight for is third lane, which really sucks. So, all right. Three blue, one black, one green. Oh, dear. Man alive. I am going to get wrecked, I think. Is that two ogres? Oh my god, dude. Jesus. Uh, we'll just do this, I guess. Good help is hard to find. I don't think I have any. I have no smash. I have no demagicking malls. So ignite is gonna. Actually, just win in the game. Six ignites. I pretty much have to just get off to a really good start, I think. <coughs> Don't think you're safe. Oh. For the glory of Stonehall. Okay, off to the races. Ogre Magi. Oh. Oops. I'm ready, my con. Damn, I really want to cast Selimanes. Oh my god. It's not gonna help me that much coming up, so. You won't feel a thing. It's been a good day. I think the way to win this is Selimanes into Thunderhide, so that's kind of you the big one. My oh my fucking god, dude. I had like LC. This draft would be much better. Hey. Okay. A little help never hurts. He's got Salamene, eh? Hmm. That's good. Armor's not going to do much good this game. Hmm. I might need to go here. I do have a creep coming. I can hope that it... Uh, I need to do this, I think. This creep needs to land in front of Darkseer. Yes, so I can cast this. I need to do as much damage to this tower as humanly possible. You are 
what passes for a warrior around here. I'm gonna take heavy damage. Selamene into untested grunt, maybe. I need to get this down at some point, right? Or maybe I just have to divine intervention. Oh, that feels so bad though. No, I'm not gonna do that. I can hold off one more round, I think. So this is my only opportunity to do this, I think. Just what I needed. I'll cloak, flask. This needs to go forward. Fuck you, you piece of human. God damn it, dude. Okay, that's not good. So this guy should take the cloak. Oh, I like this. And this guy should take the heal. What's this is literally a waste of two mana now because of that. I have to divide. I'll Thunderhide pack next round, and hopefully that's enough to get this tower, I guess. Wait, was I getting the kill with without Oglo without this guy? I'm not sure actually. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe that was good. Uh, is there any reason to save for initiative? Not really. He's gonna have six mana with Eclipse coming in. Mm, I'm not sure if he can multicast twice. So I think we need to <coughs> So we're playing <coughs> Thunderhide Pack here and I need to save initiative because if he has Eclipse then I could get screwed. And then after we take that tower we can surge the Thunderhide Pack away. Oh, this is great. I needed that so bad. Holy crap. That is actually amazing. So if we put Thunderhide Pack down, then Eclipse becomes way worse. Eclipse right now doesn't have many charges to begin with, but with two Ignites, it's going to do a lot of work. Um, I might actually save Demagicking Maul for this, but we'll see. Wow, that is big for me. So now I can Surge like Sniper away right now. No, I'll Surge this away right now. For sure. I can just cast this to finish it. Uh, but I'm losing this creep. We'll see. Let's see how much damage we have. Alright, so what do we do here? Short sword, this is lethal. We cast this and move it over here. Hope he doesn't have annihilation. So we're definitely doing this. Now, <coughs> do I want to demagic him all this or this? I can't demagic him all that, so I have to. I might as well just do this. They're not now. ready for me. You never had a chance against me. My enemies will fall. Well, so far, so good. We'll see. I'll take on anyone. This is a bit unfortunate in the arrow department. I wish I could get the uh, dark seer over here, because divine intervention would be nice at some point. I mean, all I can really play is this, right? So. Actually, I should do this so that creep gets... No, I should spread it out more. I raise the bull snake high. Do I care about Miss P.A. dying? Not particularly. I guess I'm afraid of Eclipse at some point, so I'll just prematurely do that. This guy has a lot of cards. I'm kind of scared, guys. It's a good thing you gave this to me. And I hope, <coughs> I hope he doesn't have Slay with PA coming, because that would suck. Even this doesn't really help. Even though I wouldn't be able to get it off anyway. I got Darkseer coming, so... Or, uh... What's his name coming? 
Debe. So Glody can be safe for the mid lane. God damn, dude. I hope this guy's deck just sucks and his heroes are good. That's kind of what we're hoping for right now. I buy that for next round, maybe. Unfortunate creep spawn. So, whoa, what is this about? Surge next round is really good because headshots up this whole time. Oh, I might die though. And this is unfortunate again. Oh, but I can. I can coup him, so I save initiative. That is super fucking good. I'm fine dying. Just need to dodge hip fire. This guy's hand must be really bad. Can't finish it, but this finishes it next round. So I think we're looking good, guys. I am very surprised we won this. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy got crushed. His hand is, must be horrible. What's the deal here, man? I just save initiative now. I am thoroughly shocked. I don't think you can really do a, an OTK deck in draft. Doesn't seem... Uh, doesn't seem feasible to me. Even with two ignites, this you doesn't matter. He I mean, actually has two ignites. Jesus. I mean, I have PA coming anyway. So. I mean, I'll definitely put her mid in case he puts another blue. I mean, we're just trying to dodge. And there's nothing we can die to. Annihilation doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll check his deck after this. But like, this is crazy, man. This guy's cast like nothing except ignites. Uh, I'm done after this run. A couple games left. I already showed the pudge. Yeah. Up to you. Putka! Putka. Oh, monkey's here, huh? Let's look at this guy's deck. One Thunderhide pack. Go ahead, show her off. She's gonna scratch me right now. I can tell. Alright, give me it. Oh, she's scratching already. She's not in the mood. Alright, so... I don't know, man. This deck's not good. Five. So he <laughs> he just draws all his cards, and then they're not that good. Like his, I think his black cards are really good, but he has one black hero, right? Horn of the Alpha. I don't know how he's gonna afford that. He has no annihilation or anything. So yeah, it's a pretty poorly constructed deck, I think. But hey, we're not complaining. One more, one more. Last game. Hmm. Two black, what was it? One blue. Hmm. I like how I've been getting this every game now. So we got two black, two red, one blue. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I guess we play this now. I know these guys; they're great when they decide to actually work. I really love this card, by the way. I think it's really good. Underrated for sure. 
15 gold. Winner, winner. I can cast this next turn, which is nice. I don't know what I, it's going to lead to, though. Oh, that's premature. That's quite ambitious. That's a big boy. You think you can kill him? Yeah. As expected. Twenty one gold, and he spent all of it on three items. Okay. So this is going to be an interesting card. Need to wait till like late game when he's already bought all his items or something. My favorite part is when we light everything on fire. Hmm. If I sell a mayonnaise now, then next turn I can start assassinating, which is pretty dirty. Musk doesn't really do that much right now. Hope this helps. Oh my! Ah, uh, hate this item, man. It's way too good. This needs the nerf. Keep getting the HPs up, eh? All right, so we want to assassinate, but for what lane? Hip fire is great here, so I think we need to put a black hero here. Let's put it. Let's put Debbie there instead, actually. PA is more survivable, so she'll live through ignites. And we can assassinate. Let's just spread out the love, huh? He did the same. Than the bleeding thing where your head you oh I lost a creep damn uh, I'm sorry this got away from me does her musk help anywhere I think I just go for the assassinate right away could assassinate him and then move somebody but this is definitely better Plus, we have hip fire for that lane. I can't wait to use this. I can move PA and we can start going somewhere else. Problem is, I don't really have much to spend in terms of. I am just really hate giving up this lane though. Cause I want to kill this stupid guy. Fifteen seconds remaining. Eh. 
We lost to a Pugna earlier today. Somehow. Am I an idiot? Why did I just do that? I'm gonna die to upkeep now. Ah, it's getting late. Fuck, man. Ah, okay, whatever. What will they think of next? Mm, why don't you have anything to play? Well, headshot kills him next round, so initiative is important. What's this item? Hopefully, it's not a heal. That's fine. I love working the knife. And we want to keep initiative for the headshot mid. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. I should have cloaked this guy. That was really bad decision making. Meet map. Meet map. He's without end, without mercy. Okay, so. I'll save this for like a late game scenario, I think. Uh. 15 seconds remaining. Save initiative. <sighs> Prison. You should join the Legion. Does my creep help in any situation? Uh, I guess. I'm just going to TP out. Whatever you can build, the nether can destroy. What was that improvement? Oh, that was unsupervised artillery. Lol. A random enemy improvement. He was hoping for that one, that's for sure. I think he's going to have a heal. Couldn't save initiative, unfortunately. Good choice. Hmm. Good. Yeah, untested grunt would be nice right now. Okay. Could be worse. It's not that bad. This is pretty bad, though. I'm gonna have to stone hall. No initiative or anything. I make this work. I could have saved initiative there, but I want to get the value out of this. Who do we have? We have Darkseer coming, who can... Seven mana, make us invulnerable. Or musk. I can't think. I'm so tired now. Oof. This really is draining playing this game this long, huh? I guess we just chillax. 15 seconds remaining. I think maybe I move... I need Darkseer with the blink. It's too good, I think, right? I can go to the first lane, cast some stuff. I can go here. I can sell a mayonnaise somewhere and then blink over. 
Or if I get a Thunderhide pack, I can play that. And I don't have Surge up, though, but oh well. Whew. But I can sell a mana here, and then if I... Well, either way, I don't. I can't draw it because of Hourglass, of course. How could I forget? Time to get creative. We're throwing a rock. No, even better. I'm losing this game because of this item. Because this means, like, I have nothing great to play this turn. And then in two turn or next turn, I'm not gonna have anything that could possibly bail me out. I need to go for like a caught unprepared or something ridiculous. Fifteen seconds remaining. Might as well set up I'm for this. I, I can divine intervention. I can kill this guy right away, but. I'm not going to have uh, Feel my power. initiative as it is cold. Just what I needed. Ready for war. Could have theoretically killed him with Ion Shell, but I need to just get out of this lane, I think. Not looking too great, especially with this here. That is really dirty. Duel, we'll open him up here. He has two items. So caught unprepared might be okay. That's one. So I kind of want to do this and then divine intervention. It's not that bad actually. Stone Hall will fall. It's actually pretty good. Then I have grazing shot next turn. Oh no, that's <coughs> that is a punish. Would really slay an untested grunt. Huh? We're going to bait an item out of him. Bye bye. I want to see what this item is. Because I just want to use this. Let's see Ricks try to stop me now. All right, so you are stunned, my friend, until you get another item. He's going to get one gold. Thanks. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, this game's over. Holy shit. This guy's got really good cards. He's going to get three gold from this, unfortunately. God damn. Grazing shot. So he can unstun. What's her face? Drawing a card doesn't do shit. This stupid fucking item is way too OP, man. God. I actually hate it so much. I mean, still get it, I guess. Uh, grazing shot opens this up. I need a lot of arrows, basically. I need a lot of luck going forward. Hopefully there's nothing for three gold. Decent chance, actually. Yeah. 
Well, can use this next round. That's excellent. He bought an item. I hope this is like a consumable. That's what we're hoping for right now. I can grazing shot here to take out his red cards. These are pretty good arrows, have to say. Um, grazing shot, this divine intervention keeps everything alive. It's my turn? What? Oh, my bad. Okay. Grazing shot here. Take out red cards. Oh yeah, this is another thing we have to worry about, huh? <laughs> God. Oops. Of course. Why did I think I could Bronze Legionnaire? I don't know why. I'm not sure why I thought that. No, well, GG. I mean, this item is, I don't understand how it's 10 gold. This is like, I think people would still buy this if it was 15 gold, honestly. It's I absurd no how strong it is. Oh, well, GG. That'll do it. This turned out to be pretty good, though, I have to say. I'm dying to one creep because I can't block it. He might be, uh, okay, he had that anyway. Maybe it's, so he did have the three gold item after all. GG. Well, I mean, not a bad run for a mediocre deck. Sniper PA are only two good heroes, really. Although Darkseer did do pretty good work, I have to say. The first few games, at least. All right, let's claim it. I think we have everything we need. The Bronze Legion brings peace. Hey. It's only uh chaos. only makes sense, right? I join the Legion. Unlike Oh yeah. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna close the VOD out real quick. So if you're watching on Artifact Cinema, thanks for joining us as usual. Or me. Until next time, Suns fans signing out.